Ah, the sun. That massive, life-giving fire in the middle of space. It burns and burns, and all the planets are just like kids huddled around a campfire. Hey, past the marshmallows, Mars. But wait a second. Here on Earth, a fire needs oxygen to burn, which thankfully our atmosphere has plenty of. But in space, that's a vacuum. No oxygen to be found. So how does that work? How does the sun burn without any oxygen? Gather around, everyone. Warm yourself by the fire of science. That's right, it's time for Owl Connected's general knowledge. The key difference in this answer is that what goes on within the sun and what happens in a campfire are two different things. The first is a nuclear reaction. The second, a chemical one. We're gonna start by explaining the second one first. Fire as we know it is a chemical reaction called pyrolysis, and it needs three things to get going. Heat, oxygen, and fuel. In a campfire, the wood is the fuel, but there are other fuels such as oils or gases. The tricky part of getting a fire going is creating the heat. That's where that rubbing of the sticks comes from. You're using friction to create heat to initiate the process. Once the pyrolysis reaction begins, it is self-sustaining. It will keep going all on its own, and that's because it generates its own heat. The only thing that is going to stop it is if it either A, runs out of oxygen, or B, runs out of fuel. Oxygen is key to this process. It bonds to the carbon in the wood, creating carbon dioxide, which releases heat and energy. Voila, fire. That's why nothing would put out a fire in a room faster than if you turn that room into a vacuum, removing all the oxygen. Of course, that's kind of difficult to do, which is why we tend to use water instead. Now let's get back to the sun and why it can burn within a vacuum. The sun creates heat in a completely different manner. It uses a nuclear reaction called fusion. Fusion means to join two things together. And in this case, those two things are atoms of hydrogen. Every second within the sun, billions of pairs of hydrogen atoms are being fused into billions of single helium atoms. Every second, over and over. And this process releases a tremendous amount of energy. How? Normally, two atoms don't really like being squeezed together, sort of not their thing. This is due to something called the electromagnetic force. That's what causes two similarly charged particles to be repelled from one another. But if you have a lot of pressure on hand, and by the way, we do mean a lot of pressure, then you can overcome that force, at which point a second force takes over, the nuclear force. Those two protons will now whap together into a brand new nucleus, and that coming together releases an unbelievable amount of energy. Now when just two atoms do this, it's really quite something. But when billions of them do it, all in an instant, well, that's how the sun works. It's self-sustaining. Its immense gravity provides all of the pressure that it requires to keep crushing those atoms together. No oxygen is needed. In fact, the only thing that is gonna stop the sun is when it runs out of its fuel hydrogen atoms. Now, thankfully, that is not scheduled to happen for another 10 billion years or so. So, hey, let's keep those marshmallows coming. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to be sure to keep up on all of these hot tips, please subscribe below. That way, you'll never miss another episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.